What are you doing, bro? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a slab, dude. It bites. No, it don't bite. Is it not hold it? Wow, wow. <laughs> How do I don't want to hold his mouth. That fam not try to hold his mouth. Yeah. Yeah, that was so cool. Hmm? Yeah, he's bleeding. No, he's not bleeding. Why is he blood? I just hold him like this. Like you always do. Yeah. Alright. That's a good one. Dad. What? It made bad. <laughs> you gonna put him in the lava? Yeah. Put him in there. Long enough to keep. Eight. No, eight inches. Got one? Yeah, I got them. Wow. And <laughs> why does Bud like that? That's not Bud, Bud. It's just his lips. Oh. Put him in. No, no, no. In the in the lava. <laughs> he's big. Yeah, he's long enough. Open it up. Oh, shh. I want that Throw it in the water. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not a giant, but it's a keeper. Second one off this little spot. Make sure he's eight inches real quick. Oh yeah, he's eight inches. Pretty little fish though. So basically, I mean, what I'm fishing, you got a little pond. You know, you got the the lake over here, and it's like a little bitty dip that just comes back, and all this. It's about 10 foot right here, but the rest of this is only about four to five foot. I come back here when the bass are spawning and do pretty good, but we have a bunch of trees right here. And there's like a bunch of, I guess where the wind blows stuff through here, it winds up over here. So let's see if we can get some more. <clears throat> Another one. These definitely aren't big, but definitely good eater size. All right, number three. If 
I know one thing, the only bad place about this area, other than not having any shade at all, is it's real hangy. <clears throat> if your jig falls too far, you're gonna get hung. So what I'm doing, guys, I'm using a four pound Mr. Crappy Lawn on a Mr. Crappy Lose Edition rod. Well, I think a Mr. Crappy Reel, I mean, it's like a, t a $20 setup at Walmart. And I'm fishing a crappy man jig on a homemade jig head. This is an eagle claw hook. And I want to say it's 130, 132 ounce. Just hooking it like that. So it looks like this. And I mean, these fish really aren't that deep. Probably three foot. So really, I throw it out there. And you want to drop your line in the water. So wherever your jig hits, it goes straight down instead of it pendulum back to the boat. So I let it go down about, you know, two feet. And then I pick it up and let it pendulum. That way it inches towards me. And really, you just want to give it a little shake. Probably every 15 seconds, give or take. I mean, depending on what the, the mood the fish is in, I mean... So, some days they don't want it to move. Some days they want little slight movements. And some days you just throw it out there and you sit there as soon as you find what depth they're at. So the, the, the three fish I've caught, have, they, they wanted it like, you know, every 15 seconds. And they want it kind of moving. So with these two sticks right here, I've been going kind of in and out of them letting it pendulum back and forth. Now normally when I'm jig fishing, like after you make the cast, like I don't take the, it out the water for a while. Cause I mean, you can do a lot of stuff while it's in the water, unless you're casting and winding, which I mean is, is the funnest way to crap you fish. But most of the time you just, it's, it's really hard to find them where you can effectively catch them casting and winding. There's one. A little bit bigger. That was about 10 inches. <clears throat> Alright guys, so basically I'm down to like two jig heads. So I'm going to move to another spot that has a little bit of wind on it because I'm getting kind of hot. Uh, remember guys, when you're out here, please, please drink some water. It's, uh, you know, the fish isn't worth out here having a heat stroke. I'm going to run to another spot. It should have a little bit of wind on it. Hopefully not as hangy. So, my dad is out here. I'm going to see if I can get some jig heads, maybe. But, hopefully they're on the other spot. We caught five here, or four. I think four here. That's not too bad. I mean, it's like almost 12 o'clock now so i mean it's the middle of the day pretty much let's go see if we can find some more <laughs> Like I said, George always follows us everywhere. <laughs> Anytime I'm crappy fishing, George is around. He just wants a free meal. I got something, I don't know what it is. How does that happen? George! George! What are you doing, bro? George! Go away, dude! I'll give you the fish, man! Jeez! Hang on!
Oh. Here, dude. Don't be doing that, man. God, that scared the heck out of me. I ain't even gonna lie. He ain't never done that. Oh, man. I mean, I don't mind giving him the little fish, but I don't want him to get hooked or something. Look at this big old gar right here. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> What's up with me sideways hooking these bream? I thought I had a grown one. This is a crappy, it's a good one. No, he ain't that good. Number five. It's a better one though. Definitely a better one. Oh man, it took me about two hours to find this one. It's definitely not what we want. We got 15 more to go. Out of this one. There we go. That's a pretty good one, about nine, ten inch. 